Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in, because today I'm going to do something that surprisingly not a lot of people have done on YouTube. What am I doing exactly? Well, over the years I've collected a decent amount of plushies, and childish as it may be, I still love naming them and giving them little personalities in my head. So I thought I would fully realize these ideas by designing them as human characters. Let's get started. So our first redesign is a glow-in-the-dark unicorn plush who I named Billie Jean for some reason. I named him after the Michael Jackson song, but I don't really have a particular reason for why I named him that, it just seemed like it fit at the time. And of course, since he is named after a Michael Jackson song, my mind immediately went to Smooth Criminal, and I thought it would be a really fun idea to make him a bad guy. I just thought it would be really funny because unicorns are icons of like all things magical and pure and they're overall like very girly. And then I really liked the idea of taking his character design in the opposite direction and making him this over the top like hammy super villain, you know? So of course, since we're talking Smooth Criminal, you can see where that train of thought led and I tried to put him in that like leaning pose that Michael does in the, in the music video, but I don't know, it didn't look right, first of all, when I drew it. And secondly, I figured a different pose would be nicer for showing off his personality and his some more of his design details. Which, speaking of design details, let's talk about those. Now, of course, the biggest challenge was making him look intimidating when you have this to work with. But I think I actually did really good. I sleeked up his suit with black accents, and my brother actually suggested to give him this big Cruella de Vil style, like, fur coat. And I think that worked out really well for him. Credit to my brother, by the way. Because it, it imitated the chunky limbs that the plushie has, but at the same time, it also gave him that, like, bombastic like energy that I wanted for him and it made his silhouette a lot more big and intimidating. I don't know what it was about the fur coat because like it's such a small change like I literally added it last second but it just it just brought him into a whole new light where he went from sidekick to like the main man, you know? I think it's mainly because, one, again, it made him look really big and intimidating. And the other thing is that fur coats are a status symbol in a way, because obviously fur coats are really expensive. So it just gave him that dramatic flair that he really needed. I also styled his hair after a horse's mane with like the pompadour and the mohawk going down, but the pompadour combined with the bright colors kind of makes him look like a Jojo character. I don't know, I was going for more of a Batman villain vibe because I was referencing the Joker for his suit, but I guess you guys can decide what he looks like more. course I really wanted to ham it up with the rainbows because one contrast and two it's one of his main features where like he has like a glow-in-the-dark rainbow pattern so I put the rainbow colors in each of his eyes and I gave I put some like rainbow smoke coming from his shotgun so I thought that was pretty fun uh, it looks it looks like the Fruit Loop scent from the Fruit Loops ad. So you can probably put up like commercial. Yeah, something. it's like when but yeah yeah it's like when they're trying to get the thing and it's like just follow your nose and like the, the, there's like the scent going into like the trees or whatever. So he probably has um Fruit Loop ammunition in that yeah. gun. So He's a Fruit Loops villain. Look out, cause your noses will probably explode with flavor.
sketching process was actually really, really hard for this. I struggled with the pose, his weapon, his design, and I just couldn't get the vision I had in my head for him. So, little story time, Billy was gifted to me at a really hard time in my life. I'll spare you the details, but because of a cyst, I was in an insane amount of pain. And mom came back with him after our trip to the hospital. So this was why I wanted his design to be perfect. And I'm happy, I mean, it's not perfect because, you know, no design can be perfect, but I'm still really, really proud of it. Next up is a cute little sheep plush that I got from Goodwill, who I lovingly named Angel. Now the reason I decided to name her Angel is because of her clothing, because it reminds me of, fittingly, those little angels that you see on top of Christmas trees. So to roll with that, I decided to make a nun character, since I was very inspired by this outfit, as well as some other character designs that I've seen floating around. I also thought it would just fit because angels and nuns are associated with acts of charity and, you guessed it, Goodwill, which also happens to be a store where you can, like, donate things, and it, it just goes together, you know, get it, because Goodwill means being kind, but it's also a store, and you, you guys get it, you get the idea. I decided to give this character a short round body type since, in addition to being accurate to the plush, sheeps are also round and cute. It would also make her and Billie Jean look really good as a duo when you put them side by side since, like I said, their body types are so different. styled her hair and outfit around a sheep, arming her with fuzzy wool socks and a sweater, as well as having her bonnet and hair frame her face similarly to the way a sheep's does. Another thing I wanted to experiment with was doing dot eyes on a character. As much as I want my character designs to be coherent, I also want them to be diverse and have visual interest. And I think a really great and easy way to do that is by drawing different eyes for different characters. I already sort of do this in my style. If a character is mysterious, evil, insane, or even if I just want to do something cool or draw attention to their eyes, I'll give them this like circle thing around them so you can see the color. And recently for cute and baby characters, I'll do the same thing just without the pupil so it gives them that kind of doe eye look. And then of course you have my default eyes where it's just white with a black pupil. So. With all those styles of eyes, I thought a logical progression would be to go with dot eyes. I'm not sure what characters it'll be associated with, but I just think it looks pretty cute on top of giving me a good challenge. Because these eyes are so minimalistic, I have to find ways to give them emotion and clarity without having the components that regular eyes do. Plus, I think when this is done right, in Winnie the Pooh for example, it creates a super cool and really charming effect. And of course, I had to give her black flats to imitate little sheep hooves. It's not very subtle, but I think it's cute. 
I think now would be a good time to explain the story between these two, because this pose needs context, like, why is she holding a gun? So you got Billy Jean, right? He's a criminal, obviously on the run all the time, whether it be from the cops or from other villains, which is what has happened here. Maybe there was some conflict between some rivals, like maybe he screwed someone over, or maybe he owes someone a certain something. But this is the biggest threat he's faced yet, and he needs to hide. Hence, one night when he's making an escape and comes across a small church where he can hide, which just so happens to be where Angel is working late. So he bursts in, she has no idea what's going on except for what he's told her, which is that these people are after his head. And of course, being the kind pushover she is, she hides him, but in doing so, is unknowingly roped into the criminal underbelly of the city. Hence, is forced to team up with Billy in an unlikely duo to defeat this greater evil. Sheep now a black sheep. Sheep bad sheep. <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining this on my own, but Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde is a good example of what I'm going for with these guys. So yeah, let me know if you guys like that, and like maybe even leave your own story suggestions in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Maybe they'll be better than mine, anyway. <laughs> so with that, I think this is a good place to end the video. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I have two more plushies that I need to draw, but those are a story for another day, so expect part two to be out soon. These drawings, mostly Billie Jean, took so long, so I hope you guys like them. And if you would like to see me do more art, you can subscribe or follow me on my Instagram. Bye bye